The last time Impala RFC lifted the Kenya Cup title was in 2009, but since then, the club has struggled to replicate the same form. This season, Impala seemed to be a team on a mission after acquiring the services of former Kenya 15s international Fred Olaz. Olaz, a former scrum half, had been involved in the game's development for over a decade and his expertise, scouting young talent, was put to the test, imparting knowledge to one of the top rugby teams in the country. But the committee came and, and told me, look, um, we have had Eric Situma, he's gotten a bit busy with uh, international rugby work. Could you come back and uh, fill in the gap uh, in the meantime? Olo started the season on the wrong footing, losing to their bitter rivals and neighbours, Kenya Harlequins. In their subsequent fixtures, Impala found their stride in ruthless form, managing to register 16 wins and 3 losses. They also managed to cross the century mark, beating Bungoma by 121 points to nil. Olaz attributes their team's resurgence to reverting back to the basics of the game. You know, the, uh, most of the time, 70% of the time, it's the simple things in rugby that are going on. It's a pass that's happening, it's a ruck that uh, we, we are taking contact, we are running and we are tackling. So we spent a bit of, quite a bit of time on uh, the simple things in rugby. Impala qualified for the semi-final after finishing top in the league phase. On Saturday, they host KCB, the defending Kenya Cup champions who have had mixed fortunes this season. The last time the two sides met, Impala reigned supreme. We are excited about this. We'll be looking to give a big display of defense and a big display of attack. The technical bench is likely to alter their playing style to adapt to the wet conditions that are expected during the semi-final on Saturday. And especially in terms of the field position. You've seen so far Impala have been attacking from virtually anywhere on the pitch. This time we'll have to be more cautious because the conditions so will play more in their half. In the second semi-final, Kenya Harlequins welcomes Cabras, Sugar, last season's finalist. The bookmakers will be hoping for Angongro Derby final, pitting Impala and Kenya Harlequins. Reporting for Citizen Sports, I'm Bernard Dong.